Hey everyone, uh, finally getting around to making a, another video. Uh, I think my last video was probably two weeks ago. Um, so, so much for trying to be consistent. Uh, I've just been really busy with uh, school as well as just different uh, extracurricular activities. Uh, I've joined a few of my school's clubs. Uh, I've been studying Japanese, um, doing a lot of different things. So uh, it's been pretty busy, but I wanted to finally get around to making another video. Um, so again, yeah, so much for consistency, but um, I'm actually working at a night school today, so my hours are a little different. Normally I'd work in the morning, um, but because I'm working night school, I have a little bit of extra time uh, before I actually have to go to work. So I thought it would be a pretty good time to make a video. But uh, for this video, I thought I would talk about um, me going to one of the school festivals that I had maybe about a week or two ago. Um, basically, just talking a little bit about it. Um, you know, giving people a little bit of an idea of what it's like. Um, for me, in America, uh, we don't really have school festivals, or in Japanese, you call them bunkasais, which are basically uh, just cultural festivals for the schools, uh, where the students and teachers basically set up a lot of different booths um, with games and food and things like that. Um, but it's something that we don't really have in American schools, uh, which is a shame because it's actually a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, basically one of my schools had a cultural festival, and it took place on Friday and Saturday. So I work Monday through Friday at different schools, um, so I went on Saturday. Um, basically when I got there on Saturday, it was from maybe, I don't know, let's say 9 o'clock in the morning to maybe 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but yeah, when I got there, there were tons of different displays. Um, the students in each class. So um, in Japan, they have like uh, different grade levels and then different classes for the grade levels. So you might have like a third year in class one or a third year in class two. Um, so each class actually makes their own kind of project. Uh, for example, one class did a Las Vegas kind of theme. And basically what they ended up doing was they had like different games like darts or blackjack uh, that you could play and then win prizes for. Uh, another one of the clubs, or classes rather, did a cafe, and they based it off of the Little Mermaid. So they had like a whole bunch of different designs and drawings that they did for it. They sold lots of different drinks. Um, but yeah, so not only are there are a lot of games um, that you can kind of like participate in, but there's also booths where the students and some of the parents actually of the students make food. Um, there was like ramen. Um, there was like takoyaki, which for the people that don't know, it's just basically like octopus. It's like fried octopus balls, um, but they're really, really good uh, and really cheap considering um, for the school festival, you know, everything isn't really too expensive. But uh, in the sculptural festival, they basically try to uh, teach students how to make money in a sense, um, which is interesting because it's a unique way to kind of show them like, you know, here's something you have, like let's say you're making ramen you know, and then you're actually trying to sell it. Um, in a lot of schools in the U.S., um, we don't really have something, again, like this. But, uh, you know, you don't really necessarily learn how to do stuff like that. Uh, it's not, let's say, difficult, like the concept, but um, I think it's actually pretty helpful. But the students get to, you know, make something and then actually try to sell it and then try to raise money um, for the school or, you know, for a different cause. Um, but it's a good way to actually show them how to do it. Um, again, as simple of a concept as it seems, I think it's a cool way to kind of show them because, again, they're making their own, you know, food or projects or whatnot and trying to sell them for themselves. Um, so they kind of have to get you to buy it, in a sense. Um, some of the students that were around the, uni or the school, you know, came up to me and they were asking, like, oh, you should buy this. It was, it's really good. Things like that. So they were trying to market themselves, um, in a sense, which is kind of cool. But... Uh, yeah, so there was a lot of different food booths, tons of different food booths. I tried a lot of just different foods, um, as well as uh, going to a few of the different booths. Like I said before, they had like a Las Vegas theme. Uh, they actually had a haunted house, which was really fun. Um, it wasn't too scary. Um, I actually love scary things, so I was pretty excited about it. Um, but they did a pretty good job for like a school kind of production, I guess, uh, considering they do a lot of work. Um, some of the schools actually take like the whole week to do, you know, the setup for the school festivals. They might not even have class. They might just be setting up classrooms. They have to move the desk. They have to set up everything. So it takes a lot of work. Um, but it's really cool to see how it all comes together. But considering 
uh, you only really have a classroom to work with and so much. Um, they were, did a really good job when it came to like making the haunted house and making it scary for, you know, the students per se. Um, I think just because I'm kind of used to scary things, it wasn't as scary as let's say if I was a student. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was uh, interesting. They actually had a lot of different games around the school, um, including like the haunted house where you had to find different people in the school. Uh, for example, kind of like a uh, bingo for people. Uh, so one of the bingos I had to do was I had to find students from certain classes. Um, students in each class actually have their own shirts. Uh, the students and teachers made their own shirts um, for each class. So they have different designs, you know, different names. So you had to go around and find um, the you know students with the numbers that you picked. You had like a bingo board, and you had to fill it all out, and then you know you could go around and check um, when you found someone, and they give you a sticker. Um, but yeah, you win a prize if you do it. Same thing with the haunted house. They had like a a ghost or a scientist like around the school. You had to find, and once you found them, they'd give you a sticker. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, on top of that, they had a few other events for the clubs. Uh, I ended up getting a lot of stuff from the uh, anime and manga club that we have at the school. Um, the students' artworks, our artwork, um, was really really cool. Um, they had a lot of like free little uh, displays for it. Uh, you could take like you know different uh, magazines that they had that they made, as well as just little kind of uh, pieces of artwork. Uh, I originally was going to try to show it. Um, if I can figure out a way to photos into a, a video at some point I probably will um, but yeah I basically hung it all over uh, my walls and things like that um, which is really cool just because um, again it was really cool to kind of see the students artwork and some of them are really really good uh, I'm not really artistic myself so um, but the artwork that the students did was just amazing uh, I got to actually meet some of the students which is funny because I was talking about how cool some of the uh, pieces were um, and then some of the students were like, oh, that one's actually mine, uh, which was funny because they were really shy about it when I said like, oh, it's really good. Um, so most of the students were pretty modest when it came to their work. Um, but yeah, there was that. Uh, again, there was a uh, giant show with the brass band, which was really cool. They actually performed a lot of uh, different uh, anime openings to very popular anime uh, that I knew. Um, as well as did like a question kind of game where they would ask you questions on the song after the song was finished and you could win prizes and things like that. Um, but yeah, the performances were really, really cool. Um, it was some of the uh, dance team's performances because in my school, or at least in this school, they have a dance team, um, you know, and they practice every day, things like that. But yeah, besides that, uh, that was kind of like the gist of the whole festival, but I got to meet a lot of different people as well as some of the students' parents, which was cool. Um, I was able to talk with a few of them, which was pretty nice. Uh, funny enough, uh, one of the uh, ladies that I actually spoke with ended up asking me, like, uh, you know, in Japanese, um, are you here with, like, you know, your wife? <laughs> which was really funny, because uh, I'm, I'm not married. But um, she wasn't entirely sure, so I had to explain to her, like, oh, I'm actually, you know, an English teacher here uh, at the unit or at the school, things like that. But uh, considering my Japanese is pretty basic um, at this point, uh, I used to study Japanese oh, way back, but I kind of forgot a lot of it. So I'm kind of relearning a lot of it now. But considering uh, the limited Japanese I did have, uh, I was still able to like, communicate with most of them or have you know conversations, which was good. But yeah, it was really fun. I definitely recommend if you're ever in Japan and get the opportunity to go to a bunkasai or... Um, you, you do teach, and your school is having one. Uh, again, it was on a weekend, so it's by choice. Um, you, you don't have to go. Um, so I would definitely recommend going. It's a great way to like bond with the students and staff and you know get to see more of what the students are actually doing. Um, for me, teaching English, I only really work with a few of the classes. You know, there are tons of classes in the school, but you might only teach one or two of them, of the classes. Um, or grade levels rather so you know it's a good way to see more of what the other students are doing but uh, yeah and again everyone is really friendly really nice so it's something I definitely recommend doing uh, you know if you get the opportunity to do uh, or even if you're not teaching on the weekend it's actually public you know everyone can show up you know parents family friends anyone um, so as long as you kind of know about it you can go and show up um, and it's free you, you don't actually pay anything for it uh, you don't have to buy anything you know, to see the different, you know, booths or, you know, participate in any of them, uh, which is cool. You know, it's a great way to experience all that.
But yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I'm already going to say, oh, I'm going to make the next video maybe next week, but then in before it's another two weeks. So, but uh, I still have a lot of different ideas of things I want to talk about. I think I mentioned previously in my last video that I went to the Tokyo Game Show. Um, so again, once I kind of figure out how to put photos into a video, because uh, I'm still new to YouTube and video editing and whatnot, uh, I might still do a video on that because I took a thousand different photos, um, as well as a trip I went on this weekend, which was a giant hike, um, which was amazing. The view was beautiful. Uh, I met a lot of cool people, so I'll probably make a video kind of talking a little bit about that. And again, if I can figure out how to put pictures, um, you know, that'll be great. So you can see different pictures as well as, you know, hear about the trips and whatnot. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something new. And thanks a lot. Appreciate it.